Right then, what is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the Golf Hunter channel and welcome back to another comparison video. Now, if you haven't seen our comparison video last week, it was the TaylorMade Sim 2 against the Callaway Epic Speed. So two heavyweights for the drive releases for this year. What I've decided to do this week is keep the TaylorMade Sim 2, keep the one that won the gold medal for the comparison and take it up against the Cobra Rad Speed. The earliest release of all of these new drivers and the cheapest by quite some considerable margin. I really like both of these drivers, so it'll be really interesting to see how I'm going to get on with this. What I'm going to do is just first talk about the difference in looks between these two drivers and then go on, feel, and then see how accurate both of these are, and then finally just look into the data a little bit more. What I will do at the end is do a long drive competition as well to see which one goes the furthest because we all love seeing how far these drivers go. Before I get into the video, if you guys are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to keep updated with all our equipment news, comparisons, instructional pieces, and a lot more to help you guys with your game. Let's get right into the video and talk about the looks of these two drivers. So with these two drivers, it seems that TaylorMade and Cobra have accepted the modernistic approach that you should really have in 2021 for new drivers and made these drivers look very flashy. Not too out there, not too offensive, but they've both got a significant color palette and they both just look like very attractive golf clubs. It's attractive and decent word to use. Is that weird? Anyway, with the TaylorMade Sim 2 to begin with, they have blue as the main color scheme in terms of the palette. That is a new addition for the Sim 2 and it is obviously with that forged aluminium back ring at the back of it. But the main thing that I can see here in terms of the difference if I'm going to compare these two is that the Sim 2 is absolutely coated in carbon. Absolutely coated. And that means that the top address is extremely shiny, which isn't a problem. And then looking down at it as well, you've got that carbon crown as well with that blue colour scheme and the very classical, I'll say classical, very original tailor-made design whereby it's a bit of white and then it's got the bl black and grey down at the address. The main difference with this is that the Cobra Rad Speed is much more of a matte finish, whereas the TaylorMade Sim 2 here is more glossy, so it looks a bit different. But when I'm looking down at both clubs, which I guess is more important, how different do they look? Honestly, yeah, I mean quite, quite a bit. You can see that the Cobra is a matte finish and it's also got that slight indentation at the top just right by the actual uh, club face itself, and it's also got some alignment, almost like turbulators, similar to what the uh, ping models have. Uh, which, I, which helps aerodynamics of the club. TaylorMade is a little bit different and they're both they're just both very out there and very different in their designs. But for me, as the Cobra Rad Speed is a matte finish, I do prefer that by quite a lot, quite a considerable margin, just because I feel like it then limits any shine of the club. It looks a little bit more pear-shaped as well, the Cobra Rad Speed. So it's interesting to know the main differences between these two in that the TaylorMade does have that more of like a shiny approach with all that carbon. But you understand as to why it has that because it means that they can then save weight on the club and redistribute it across the entire club head and just make it a better club overall. It's, it's entirely personal preference here, so I'm not gonna actually give any sort of rating, but you can just see there are some significant differences between these two clubs. And it's always cool to see that because it means that obviously two front runners in, in the golf industry today are making clubs that aren't that similar to each other. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Let's go straight into feel now, because this is the point where I'm just going to hit two clubs and disregard any of the data that I get on the Trackman here at the Swing Suite at Chromehurst Golf Club. Just hit both of them and just see how they feel, see the difference between these two. I'm obviously using different shafts in both of them, I'm saying in my previous video. This is just because, to put it bluntly, I can't get the same shaft in both of them. They have different tips, so I'd have to get the exact same shaft. They are very close in terms of the actual shaft uh, options that I have available to me, but what these shafts are as well is these are ones that you guys can both buy off the shelves. So it means that if you guys are looking into buying these drivers, you can buy literally the exact ones that I have in my hands today, which makes it very helpful. Let's jump into the field of these clubs and let's go first with the TaylorMade Sim 2 and see how I get on. Let's go into it. So I've just hit about 15 balls with the Cobra Rad Speed and the TaylorMade Sim 2 driver just to see the difference in between both of them and what, what I would prefer and what I think you guys would prefer. For me, I like the Sim 2, I really do. You could tell that in the, um, in the Callaway Epic Speed video when I compared it against that. 
But what I felt like with the Code of Rad Speed is that there was more of an instant like feedback that you would have got from the club face, which means it's less forgiving in a way, which I understand because I think the Cobra Rad Speed alludes more to the actual tour player, it has forgiveness, but you've got the Cobra Rad Speed and then the Cobra Rad Speed XB and XD. So that kind of makes sense as to why you would think, oh, maybe it's a bit less forgiving. I obviously am not factoring in any of the actual data that I got there, but so far I would assume that it seems a little bit less forgiving in terms of the actual response you're getting off the face. And with TaylorMade and their drivers, you can always tell that they're loud, they've got a notable sound, you can tell instantly. Which isn't a problem, I said that in the previous video, but you can, you can tell you're always hitting a TaylorMade. As well as that, the TaylorMade Sim 2 head does feel heavier. It feels like you do know where the actual club head is when you're hitting it, but the Cobra doesn't, it's not that, it's the other side of that in which you don't know where the club head is. It's just that the TaylorMade feels more notable. So it feels like the TaylorMade will, have, will win this one. So it's 1-0 to the Sim 2 so far, but let's not Let's not be mean, or let's not be mean towards the Cobra Rad Speed because I do feel like that's actually done very well there. And in terms of feel and how actually like, who, what would I prefer to hit? There's really nothing in it. They do feel kind of similar in terms of how positive they both are. So it's one nil to the TaylorMade Sim 2, but it's very close. Now let's let's jump into the dispersion. Let's jump into the real the real tough part of this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit between five and 10 shots with the Red Speed and the Sim 2 on a signature hole here at the Swing Suite at Chromehurst Golf Club and see how many times I hit the fairway up both. I'm hoping I can get over half, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm, I'm a bit tired. My swing speed's a bit down today. It's about 113, so a little bit down. So I'm gonna help, hope I can just get it accurate and hit some decent shots. Let's see how I get on. That was fun, that was a lot of fun. I am on the uh, 18th hole here at Pebble Beach, so a very, very famous par five with an extremely difficult tee shot where you have to navigate the water and the tree in the middle of the fairway and the bunkers on the right. So, no easy task at all. I was feeling up to it. I've got my, I've got my waterproofs on, so it was, a, it was a difficult one, but actually I swung the club very well here. And as you can see by what I just showed you previously, the Cobra Red Speed took the crown on this one by four out of five fairways to so TaylorMade Sims three out of five fairways. Now, you guys may be thinking, oh, let's click the dislike button, this isn't enough data, five shots each. I do understand that I have hit more shots actually than this, and what I have found is that this is the more consistent driver in terms of its misses. So far, it's just, it's not as significant. I feel like with my the Sim 2 when I was hitting it, it was going just a little bit, they were, I'm gonna say, I, I, I did go in the drink a few times with the Sim 2. I'm, I'm gonna say out there right now. Probably down to my swing, but it just did feel like that this driver, I was more I was more accustomed to hitting the fairway for, and when I was, was missing the fairway, in the, the shots that you saw, the only one that I missed the fairway was just a little bit right and just crawl into the bunker. Nothing too nothing too dangerous in terms of um, like damaging your round of golf. So for me, the Cobra Rad Speed takes the crown on this one. So it is one all, and we, are, we have got a competition on our hands here. Let's now jump into the arguably the most important part of this video, the data. Let's, I'm gonna hit a lot of shots now with the Rad Speed, and I'm gonna hit a lot of shots with the Sim 2 and just see how it compares as to just average distance, spin rate, and just overall which car I think better. Let's see how I get on here at Trackman at the Swing Suite.
Right then, so that is the data test done between the Cobra Red Speed and the TaylorMade Sim 2. Let's have a little bit of a chat about how, how I perceive this data and which one I think is the best. Let's talk about the Sim 2 first. Okay, so the Sim 2, I've tested it, I think I've tested this driver more than I've tested any driver now, just, just about now touching base with the Ping G425. And for me, the data that I can have with the TaylorMade driver is pretty much spot on. Like it, it's more or less perfect if I were to put the correct shaft in it, as in the one that would I know is custom fit for me, but the shaft isn't too far off it. It's 6.0 rather than 6.5, so not really too much difference really. Let's put the data up on the screen for you now. As you can see, just optimum data. There's nothing I can really say about it in terms of the actual numbers that I'm getting. So well over 300 yards, perfect ball speed at around 170 miles an hour, which is literally the most that I can get. Club head speed, pretty decent as well, considering that's how I am, how I am near, near death. But apart from that, it's very, very, very good. The, um, the dispersion that I had as well here was good as well, really nice. And my misses is the main thing that I always say about the Sim 2 is the misses that I'm getting with them aren't really misses, they're just a little bit right or left of the fairway. I do struggle with missing left and right, which is always very, very dangerous, but I don't feel like I'm doing it that much with the Sim 2. And if I'm doing it, it's only five or 10 yards left. The spin's optimum as well. I always felt like maybe sim, the Sim 2 could have a Sim 2 LS, but with they're getting around 2,400 RPM, that's not really necessary. So yeah, pretty decent for that. The Cobra Rad Speed is the interesting one because this is the one that is 369 pounds. It's, it's, it's a good 100 pounds cheaper than the Sim 2. So would you expect the data to be different? Well, I'll, I'll give you a spoiler right now. It, it's, it's not at all. So let's, let's shut the data up on the screen for you now. As you can see, the only difference that I've got there is a few yards shorter and just a little bit higher spin, which I'm not surprised about at all. It's a bit higher launch angle as well. And that's because it is 9.5 rather than seven degrees that I've got in the Sim 2. But in terms of the actual yardages and everything you can see here, well, it, it's pretty, pretty much exactly the same. And that's with a different shaft as well. So still over 300 yards, just climbing to that 170 mile an hour ball speed. Just, to, just, just didn't get there. Very, very close, but still very, very competitive in comparison to the Sim 2 and very, very good numbers. There's nothing that I can really give a negative for, but just because in terms of I'm doing based off data alone, the Sim 2 has to, the Sim 2 has to win this one. It's by like maybe half a yard or so, or it's by such a small amount that it's for me like, the TaylorMade's 100 pounds more expensive, and yet, it, obviously, that's a lot of money, and it's not outperforming by, it by a long way. And that's just because Cobra is an amazing brand. They've done very well with this driver in producing a top quality club. That's, I guess, a fraction of the price of other drivers. There are other drivers that are the same price as this, and I will compare the Brad Speed to this in in 2021. But for now, it's still a very, very good driver. So you can see, although so far, and the TaylorMade has won two one in this testing, I'm still echoing the. Um, the extremely good product that the Cobra Red Speed is as well. So let's now jump to the long drive, which is, I guess, the, the, we'll, we'll leave it down to the long drive here, see if the Cobra can claw it back. I don't think it will. I, I My uh, TaylorMade Sim 2, I hit it further than anything else. So let's see if the Cobra can keep up and then finally crown a winner of this very, very tough competition. Let's get into the long drive. I had some hoop dreams, but no jumping like I'm at him. My pen is too clean, so I had to stick with rapping. My life is hella deep, dog. You couldn't even fathom. My goals are like Twitter. You can see I'm staying at them. I'm trying to be the GOAT. Every day I'm chasing ghosts like I'm Danny Phantom. And I can sell a nigg, but I'd rather sell a hit. It's my niche. And business at the beat, so I had to hit the switch. And now you're all in. I ain't on the fence. All these rappers peep my game. I ain't talking Twitch. Man, I'm trying to get rich i'm trying to make my wrist match the plaques i started from the bottom i ain't going back told all the dogs we gonna make it out i would never fall you can't take me out i'm popping like a zig i'm breaking now and i am hella lit well you want to couch yeah. that was a surprise if you couldn't tell the uh, sim 2 only got i think it was 330 332 yards whereas the cobra run speed Lewis out of the water with two drives over 350 yards, one 351 and one 352. So that means it is two all and we have a draw. And I think that's actually quite well deserved, but I feel like I can't leave a comparison on a draw because I'd probably get a lot of dislikes. I don't want you guys to do that. I want you guys to really understand which one you guys think is better for your game. And uh, it's so tough for me even to say this right now because I really don't know which one is better for your game because they do perform quite similar in terms of their actual results. The Cobra Red Speed is 369 pounds. The Cobra Red Speed is a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. But for me, although the data is very similar, the TaylorMade does perform better in terms of its actual overall data and just feel as well. So 
in my opinion, I'm gonna say the TaylorMade Sim 2 takes home first place. Now, now I know, I know, I know. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, and I'm just gonna, I have to give a winner. And although the Cobra Red Speed is an exceptional driver, an exceptional driver, I have to give it to the one that is technically the winner in terms of the, the data that I'm seeing today here at the Swing Suite, which is why I've done the TaylorMade Sim 2. But that doesn't mean that the Cobra Red Speed is not an amazing driver that you guys should not purchase. This driver is unbelievable, as good as the TaylorMade Sim 2. So if you guys are in the market for any new drivers, make sure you guys try both of these out because I think you'll be surprised at how good these both are. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun and I cannot explain to you how warm I am. I'm literally sweating from doing that long drive competition. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. And if you guys are new around here, subscribe down below for more equipment comparisons because these are a lot of fun to make. They are a long video. They do take a while to create. So I hope you guys do appreciate them and understand which one you think is better. And then from that, make an educated decision as to which driver you guys want to purchase. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to try out next. I'm thinking I should put the Cobra Rad Speed or even the TaylorMade Sim 2 against the Ping G425. But I'm thinking maybe because the G425 is the LST model, maybe the G425 Max. But let me know what you guys want me to compare next. And if it's not drivers, let me know what irons you guys want me to compare. Because I've done a few in the past, but there's so much more that we could do. So let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys at the next video.